how's it going, y'all? It's your boy Stalin Salosonic, aka DNS Beats. Uh, right now I'm just gonna be breaking down a beat for y'all. I made this like yesterday, but uh, I've been trying to put up this video. I've been trying to figure out my my logistics with the OBS. It's been a minute, but um, right now I'm just gonna be showing you guys how I made this beat. Um, and my thought process when I was going through it. So we're just gonna start off with the the 808 pattern. And I, I was trying to really keep it simple with this, not trying to do too much um, with the with the chops and the 808 uh, of the 808. I just really wanted to build uh, a unique rhythm. That's like the first 808 pattern. I didn't really do too much with it, but the second 808 pattern is twice as long for the second part of the hook, and it sounds just a little bit different. I recommend you use headphones to listen to this. So that's the 808 pattern. The next thing I added on was the clap. Um, you know, it's always simple on the two and four. And after that, uh, I put the hi-hats on. Uh, I also didn't want to do too many chops with this. I just wanted to build a rhythm. Just nothing too complicated. And then I added the two step, uh, half step hi hats, and um, I put in a counter snare for the clap. And this is what all of that sounds like together. Candy, I added some percussion just to fill up the space. Just some ear candy. Nothing too complicated. And then I put in a melody with some bells. But on the second part of the hook, I decided to take the bells like up a whole octave. Main, and I'm gonna explain why because uh, I also added a piano for the background. But uh, the piano and the bells kind of they they work together. Uh, without the other one, it wouldn't so the beat wouldn't sound the same. But uh, I'm just gonna show you guys what the second part of the hook sounds like when it was pitched up. So yeah, this is more like a a way to give it more energy to keep the vibe high and so the artist doesn't lose their energy like halfway through the hook the next thing i added was some pianos uh, just triplet um, third beat pianos and uh, it, it was just to fill up the background space because i felt like the bells were too repetitive so i wanted to take it up a notch <laughs> of did the same thing with the pianos where I pitched it up an octave except I left the the chord notes on the same key so it doesn't change up the vibe too much 
but uh, with the bells, I kept the the bells in the same octave for this part and moved it up. And for the pianos, I moved the the top melody back down. So it kind of it's just like making space for each each instrument in their different parts. But um, this is what it sounds like together. <laughs> basically it for the hook part and for the verse I just took out the percussions and the hi-hats for the first eight beats and I also added a piano automation uh, while I was in the process of doing all this just to um, turn up the lower notes of the piano and the hook when the, the top melody goes back down just so it still has a little bit of volume in there. And then for the breakdown, I just took out all the drums and left the bells and the piano. <laughs> leaving my beats kind of simple because um, when I um, usually produce with artists if they bring YouTube beats whatever if it's my beats whatever I usually chop up the beat to the recording so you have to be thinking of the artist when you make your beats when you're arranging and stuff like that so I made it pretty simple so in the actual studio session that it's gonna be used in there's still a little bit of dynamics, there's still a little bit of flavor, and you can easily chop things to the beat to know the different sections of the beat. But that's how I make my beats. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you have any questions, if you have any comments, if you have any ideas, any thoughts. And uh, I'm a I'm going to be with you in a different video soon. Peace. It's been your boy, Stylus Alosonic, DNS Beats. I'm going to catch you guys later.